about time you got here, Sonny. I just took my Metamucil. I don't know what to do. I've tried everything. Uh, 22, 9 millimeter, both in handguns and rifles. And it seems like nothing we do can truly stop the Orange Crush Overlord. He, he keeps coming back. You saw it. Yeah. You saw it when we fought him at the mountains of Galil. He, he, he gained more power the more we fired upon him. He, he's absorbing the energy, the kinetic forces at play here, turning them into fire and strength for him. At this point, I'm at a loss of what to do. You've helped me before. You saved my life, twice now. What do I do? How do we stop such evil that keeps coming back again for more? This gun, this 9mm brigade, it's nothing. This was the best chance we had, and it's not working. At this point, you're the only person I have left that I can think of that might help me. The 9mm isn't cutting it. It's not working. This is why I came to you. I need your help. Sonny, you need the Lord's caliber 45 ACP. It's like 9mm, but for men, the key to defeating the Orange Crush Overlord lies in this. Back to back World War champ. A lot of people think Hitler was outmaneuvered by the Allied forces, but the real truth is he lost all hope after he saw the 1911 decimate his forces. I've got my Glock 47, nine millimeter 17 plus one. I mean, it doesn't matter how much lead I actually put into him. He just keeps coming back. I don't see how a, a bigger bullet is gonna really do any difference. That gun's made out of plastic. Plastic's for storing leftovers. The reason why the Orange Crush Overlord keeps coming back is because the nine millimeter only kills the body. The 45 ACP kills the soul. Okay, all right. Let's give it a shot. One doesn't just shoot a 1911. You're gonna need some training. What's up guys, Jake with Team Tactical, coming to another special review. This is one we've been waiting to do for a while now. Very excited about this one today. We are looking at the PSA Admiral 1911. Now this is one of three models that they released at the time of recording. This is their tactical version. This one came in at roughly $500. I'll be honest with you, this is the first time I've ever owned a 1911. Not the first time I've ever shot one, but the first time I've ever owned one because for me, you know, my two world wars and the stop and power memes and all that stuff, which is great, but they, they sit in this weird spot where usually if you only get one of these at decent quality, it's been my impression that usually you have to spend around like a thousand dollars or more just to kind of get like an entry level 1911 that's going to function correctly for you without any issues and be reliable. Well, that I believe has all changed today. 
because PSA has released the Admiral lineup. Now we need to address the elephant in the room. This gun, the Admiral, it's actually made by Rock on Armory. And they openly admit and tell you to. I guess they contracted out with them. If we do this, we give you money. I don't know. It's all the way through a, a, a Rock on Armory 1911. So it, it wasn't actually made in-house at PSA. Some people I think are a little bit butthurt about that. But for me, I think it's okay because some people might ask, why not just get the Rock on Armory 1911, one of theirs, you know? You can't find a Rock on Armory for the prices that they offer the Admiral in. So I don't know what kind of corners they cut or what kind of deal they worked out, but you can get this $500 1911 and it actually be budget friendly and high value and reliable. It's a little rough around the edges. It's got the some- Milling is a little sharper. We'll get to that in a second. This is one of three models they've released at the time of filming. This is the tactical version. It's 500 bucks. They've also got a, a more basic version as I guess a little bit more true to the original design 1911 where you don't have this rail and you don't have this skeletonized stuff or uh, you don't have as nice of a trigger either or a rear sight we'll get into all the specs in a second but you could potentially get sort of basic version of this for like less than five i want to say it's like maybe like five, like 430 or something it's stupid cheap and then if you're not really one that likes 45 acp they do also offer a 10 millimeter that's sort of like in between like this tactical version and the basic version of the 45 acp that they've got right now we're gonna go over all the specs and features fire a couple hundred rounds through this to get a good feel for it see if it's really worth your hard-earned dollars and just in general just see how she does all right so we're going to shoot a little bit of paper just kind of show the consistency it has then we're going to shoot some steel get my mag loaded up here let's see how she does let's see first shots of the day so i might be a little rusty here a little high but consistent. Mm -hmm. Precision is good. I pulled that one. Precision is poor. So first two shots literally around top of each other. Third shot there, fourth shot right there. Kind of pulled that one. Kind of just counting that right there. It's a little bit high, yeah. but you know, with greater distances that kind of helps adjust itself. Let's start with just a tip. And we're going to go through all the specs and features of this particular tactical model to give you an idea of what you kind of get. And spoiler alert, it's, uh, it's a lot for what you pay for. All right, so starting with just a tip here, we do have just a regular barrel there. As you can see, it's not threaded or anything particular like that. There is a version, I believe it's the 10 millimeter one that has like sort of like the bull style barrel where it's kind of got the crowning of the front there, like a bevel thing. But this one's just normal, no big deal. If you look up here, we do have an orange fiber optic sight that comes with a tactical version. In addition, you also get front slide serrations here too, which make it very nice for... Down here, we do have 1913 style picatinny rails, great for mounting your lights and lasers and coffee makers and all kinds of bullshit. The original 1911 does not have, nor does the base mount that they offer have either. You've got your slide lock right here. Obviously that's gonna be your little takedown pin as well for when you actually need to do some maintenance. Got some nice texturing right there to it. So when you're actually gripping it, you know, you, you put your hand there, your left thumb goes right there. It feels very nice, like a nice little shelf there for you. Almost like a, sort of like a gas bell, I guess you could say. Our sponsors for today's video are The Price is Right. Yeah. The Price is Right, bitch. Pretty sure I got dialed in now. Trigger guard here is pretty standard. There's no cuts or anything like that going on here, which is fine. You know, this is the God tier 1911 after all. Um, you do have some texturing here on the actual mag release, which is very nice. I don't know why I have a little bit of trouble reaching it with my thumb, maybe because my hands are a bit, a bit too small for the 1911, the, the two World War champs back to back. It's all right to be little bitty. I don't know, do I have small hands? Maybe, I thought I had average hands, but. Uh, mm. You know, it, it, it's it's average where it counts, I Tell guess. Tell us in the comments below. You can just take your right hand and just, the thumb wants to sit up there on top of that safety and be sort of like a little ledge for leverage as you shoot. Oh, yeah, there it is. There we go. Yep, perfect. Perfect.
Kind of jammed there. Oh. A little bit of a oh. issue right there. Granted, keep in mind, we haven't cleaned this gun. We haven't really done anything in it. We just basically took it out of the box and have been shooting it ever since. Can you catch that filth in that feed ramp right there? Let's see. Let me get a visual. Oh, feed ramp filth. I mean, that might be a reason why it had an issue feeding up in there, right? Let's be honest. Feed ramp's covered in a quarter inch of lead. So. Might need to clean this out. Oh. We've we have shot about 150, 160 rounds at this point. Why don't you clean it out by shooting some more? I will. Talk about this. We got some, a little bit like a, a little burnt wood pattern here on the grip panels. Obviously, you can swap those out if you want for your own designs. You got a little bit of uh, work done here as well, a little bit of grip texture there. Somebody told me that a lot of times in 1911s, this is actually like done by hand, which is essentially why usually you pay a lot more for 1911s and other handguns just something i heard maybe you guys can tell me is that true or not but anyways i'm just telling you what i heard that yeah, could be true could I don't be know. true could be like, true i don't know i want to learn a thing teach us a thing we're dumb <laughs> we are dumb just a little bit oh let me hit it oh no kraut coming right for us governor uh. Go, get down. On top of that, you do have some nice texturing back here as well. Feels very soft and sensual. Very nice. Obviously, you've got your grip safety here, and you've got your mail safety here as well. Skeletonized hammer here. Extra light, extra tactical, you know, as one needs to be. They do give you an adjustable rear sight elevation and windage. We get that little R right there. See, it's hard. I got earlier, but it's hard to see. I see it, yes. Now, if you get the base model, I don't think it comes with this. I think it just comes with a regular fixed rear sight, which kind of sucks. Obviously, you got some very nicely cut rear slide serrations. We did comment earlier that it feels a bit orcish, like it's got a lot of rough edges to it. But hey, you know what? That's just that's just all the more for bear for bear gripping. Yes. It bites the flesh well, yeah. yeah. You've got your standard magwell here, not really extended or opened up or anything which is fine of course you do have your little admiral logo there now the trigger pull itself psa advertises being anywhere from like four to six pounds uh real quickly you know obviously here on team tactical what the f birds now, PSA advertises the actual trigger pull to being roughly between four to six pounds. Uh, you know, us being the tacticians that we are, we don't really have a thing to measure that. Let's just do what we always do and just sort of give you that trigger pull simulation. Are you ready? And then we're empty here. Real quickly, I'm trying to get good lying for you. Check out that texturing on the actual trigger itself. It's got nice texturing right there. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> About four pounds. Right snap clicked. Very nice. Reset. Oh, yeah. Very nice. It is actually very nice. Very yeah, nice. No, no crap. Feels like roughly about four to five pounds, but you know what? That's just from my perspective without any measuring tools. Now, obviously, the more you shoot a 1911, the more broken in it gets, the smoother everything feels, smoother the action, the smoother the trigger pull. With this being a $500 1911, I expect this to kind of be in the same line as that behavior. Now, it does come with two magazines. Obviously, it's going to be a plus one per usual. Very shiny, very metal, uh, plastic uh, base plates there pre-stand for what you expect at the gun store i did pick up this other magazine very similar pretty much identical except it's made by smith and wesson act mag illy right smith and wesson act mag illy huh maybe that's why they're similar to one another in all in all aspects huh do you know that scene at the end of Modern Warfare when Captain Price is like taking the 1911 he's got and he just slides that shit over to you and you gotta pick it up and take one last shot to take out the bad guy? Captain Price, he slides the 1911 here to me. Okay, let's go ahead and load up here. Safety first. Captain Price is... 1911. Oh. 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 
world is saved. We stop the terrorists. Counter terrorists win. <laughs> Flawless victory. So how do we feel about the PSA Admiral 1911? Honestly, I gotta say I'm highly impressed. Keep in mind, this is my first 1911 I've ever personally owned. I've shot a few different kinds, but I gotta say for the price you pay for like around 500 bucks for this particular tactical version, you get a lot of bang for your buck. You get the fiber optic front, the slides of restorations up front, you get your little Picatinny rail up there, you've got your adjustable rear sight. There's just so much stuff that you get for what you pay for and to have it just shoot out of the box reliably and accurately. Granted, we're again like 25 or 30 mags in at this point, so we shot a lot through it. It's pretty freaking dirty at this point, considering it's still functioning and still reliable and it's consistently accurate on the same spot. I think it's a pretty good deal. I think you get a lot. I don't think you'll find a better deal than this. And comparatively, yeah, is it made by Rock Island Armory? Yes, but I don't know what secret magic or backdoor deals were made to make this particular 1911 happen, but I'm glad it did happen. No. I keep thinking this one's aimed your way. But it is not. Yeah. Uh, I do love a 1911 though. Seriously. I'm to let you shoot a little bit more too. No, no, no need. Uh, this shoots a lot like my pair ordinance 1911 and I think that's the beauty of the design. No matter what platform you pick up, just because of the way that it is, they have to be made at least to certain specs in order to function. And uh, you're gonna get a pretty ubiquitous experience regardless of brand. I've shot a lot of 1911s and I'm sure there'll be a lot of argument. Fight with me. I'm very fond of this. I think if you wanna pick up a 1911 for a relatively, let's say, quality price, I think that you, uh, you're you not gonna go wrong with this. Not at all, good stuff. I mean, you can obviously upgrade stuff. You can swap out the rear for a red dot mount plate and stuff. You can do all kinds of stuff with this. But as far as like a base starting point, it kind of puts you off on the right foot. You've got everything already added to it that you may possibly want in the future. You can go with their basic version, but for all the stuff that this comes with on the tactical version, it's pretty worth it just to get this one from the start. 25 to 30 max through it so far, pretty dirty, gonna clean it up and we'll keep shooting it some more. I think we're gonna end up doing a final review on this one for sure because it's a keeper for me. It's a keeper for us in the TN Tactical Stable. I like it. I think you'll like it too. Guys, yeah, that's gonna wrap it up for this video today. If you enjoy the kind of content, make sure to like, subscribe, comment down below. Have you picked up the PSA Admiral? What do you think about it? Even if it's made by Rock Island Armory. We will see you next time. It's been a while since we've had a good chase, Clarice. No. It's been a good while since we've had... There was. Oh, hey guys, we're gonna test out shit.